Shaq, let me start with you. And again, I go back to um, yesterday and so far today. Um, it, it is pretty crystal clear the prosecution is trying to uh, set up the medical examiner's testimony in a specific way. They're very concerned about it being framed in isolation. That's right, Chuck. It's almost like they're saying, before you hear that, uh, we want you to hear from these experts. Mm -hmm. We are hearing from Dr. Thomas. We heard from the, uh, the pulmonologist yesterday, Dr. Tobin. And then we also will hear from a cardi cardiologist before we get from, uh, to hear from the medical examiner. So they're definitely trying to paint this picture of before you listen and before you see the numbers, before you see the detail from the medical examiner, listen to our experts first to, so you can frame how you're listening to what we'll expect to hear later. But what we heard from Dr. Thomas, I think you saw it was what exactly the prosecution has been trying to get out of these experts. The idea, and she said very clearly that she believed that it was oxygen deprivation that was the cause of death. She's someone who has done thousands, she said, of autopsies. You even saw, and this just happened in the past 20 minutes or so, you saw that uh, cross-examination and then the redirect where they went back and forth, where you heard the, pro the defense, rather, say, if you were to take out all of these elements, uh, would you rule this an overdose? So, of course, the defense is saying that this was an overdose death uh, mm -hmm. combined with previous medical conditions. And then you heard in the redirection, you heard uh, Jerry Blackwell get a little testy a little bit in his redirect and say, well, you know, you can say that about Lincoln. If you said to Miss Lincoln, would, if you take out John Wilkes Booth, that wasn't a random scenario, Chuck. The reason why that came up is going back to those court filings, uh, investigators say that Andrew Baker told them back in June that if Mr. Floyd had been found dead in his home or anywhere else and there were no other contributing factors, he would conclude that it was an overdose death. We don't know what he'll say later on the stand today, but there's a reason why Eric Nelson was bringing up that scenario and there's a reason right. why you heard that aggressive redirection from the prosecution. It's because we don't know what Andrew Baker will say, but based on the autopsy report where he didn't mention his uh, asphyxiation, based on the interviews that he did with investigators, there's a sign that it may not be exactly what prosecution wants the jury to hear. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.